Right there's video two of Sheila's walk, coastal walk from West Huntsbell along the coast of the River Parrot, heading towards Stretch Holt and then Pollock. Making the most before the cow season arrives, where there'll be cows all along here. It'll be impossible for me to walk. Even though it's a public footpath, um, you've got to, you risk it. I think you just have to risk it. I mean, they don't put warning about cows, but you can see where the tide comes in. There's a lot of debris collecting here. Look, the tide's out at the moment. Going back towards Burnham. Burnham is, of course, is over there, and far in the distance will be Western, much further where I've come from today. But I've only I've been doing it in stages this coastal walk. On a beautiful blue sunny day, this would look magnificent. This view I've got in front of me, it would look magnificent. I don't know about that over there. Over there, we've got Hinkley Point in the balance whether the French are going to build or not. Yeah, it's over there somewhere. I can never tell if it's coming into view. There's a big dark shape showing. Uh, I get a lot of interference when I'm looking, but I think it actually comes out all right when I develop it. So that's Hinkley Point there. I've seen a white van patrolling along the bank here earlier. And they probably do just come along now and again um, to check. So I'm quite enjoying my walk at the moment. Like I say, it's a bit nippy. I'm probably going to put my coat on in a minute. It'll be nippier on the way back, and it will be very nippy when the tide comes in. Living out here can change in seconds, but I've got a nice big thick woolly jumper on. I've got a hat, scarf, gloves and a windshield, which I'm going to put on after this video. But for now, over there we've got a village called Stretch Holt. Somewhere over there, there's the new crematorium that they built for this part of Somerset. Um, saves people having to go to Weston and Taunton now, which makes sense with an increasing population. This is a lovely walk. Now, see, this would be perfect for Maggie, except she could jump in the river. Um, if you've got a dog like that, nowhere's ever safe. Um, over there, You've got the Quantock Hills in the background. Can't see them today, of course, because it's so misty. I can just imagine in the past, 100 odd years ago, maybe not even that long ago, maybe even less than that. Well, but definitely 100 years ago, the big tall ships would, it would have to come up this river from Burnham, from the Atlantic, from the Bristol Channel, to go to Bridgewater, but of course it's heavily silted now. Um, for it to become a working river again, I mean, you hardly ever see anyone on it. You don't see canoeists, I, would, well, I haven't anyway. You hardly ever see anyone on this river. It's tidal, you see, they, if, you, if there is going to be anyone on it, they've got to get it just right. Right, now, my eyes are looking up, further up the field, not in this field, but in one further over as a possibility of cows, which might prevent me going on to Paulet. Um, some people might put them out earlier, see if it's more sheltered and the, the land is drained better. I'm not quite sure yet if that is cows or farming equipment, horse jumps. It does look more like um, agricultural equipment, but uh, until I get a bit closer, I won't really know. Over there, which you, I might zoom in, in, is the village of Cummage on the other side of the River Parrot. 
You can get pick up a trail over there as well, or you can go from Bridgewater, following the river, where I got chased by cows a couple of years ago. I was, I, I was, see, two fields away from Cambridge, and these cows attacked me, so I had to turn back. So if I decide to do that side of the river, following the River Parrot Trail to steer it where the hides are up there which I've been in because I've cycled there I would get I would drive Old Bert here there's no point relying on a bus there's about one two buses a day and probably the last one's about three in the afternoon to get back so that ain't no good so I've cycled it of course now I would drive Old Bert here to Cummidge park up and follow the River Parrot Trail from there from Cummage. Now when I get up here a bit, I'm definitely putting my coat on. There's another gate to get through and I'll be out of view around the corner to pull up that is stretch hole there. There is a quiet country lane. If I decide to do a circular, there is a country lane I can use. Although you still get fast moving vehicles. sheltered and I do like to explore as well. Proper map in my bag. But I've got to do this today. Because the season of the cow. I know I keep going on about it. But, but basically it's it's gonna prevent me doing this beautiful walk on a lovely summer's day. I'm having to do it on a blowy spring day where the weather is on the turn. Heavy rain and wind is forecast for tomorrow. I'm going to go up at least parallel to Cummage Village. That's my best plan. Right, over and out everyone for now. I know it's going to be jumpy and noisy this video. I appreciate that. I'm doing it for posterity. I've never been on this bank before in my life. It's got to be recorded.